Schalke grabbed a shocking three points away to Dortmund this weekend. We break down Weston McKennie's role in the Revere derby now on Americana Abroad. Hello everyone, Kate Abdo alongside Stu Holden and Ian Joy. All eyes, of course, on Signal Iduna Park this weekend. Schalke came to town and dealt a massive blow to Dortmund's title hopes. Weston McKenney started for the Royal Blues. Uh, Stu, what did you make of his performance? I, I thought very good. Uh, especially considering Weston McKenney had been out for an extended period with the ankle injury, picked up with the U.S. men's national team. He had only played, uh, I think, one game before this one. Gets the start in the big derby. Uh, this is the role where I think he's best. Ian, uh, tilted to the right of a three in midfield. He can get forward into the attack. What he's so good at, we all was talk about, is his energy to close down spaces. And Gaps is a perfect example of just... You know, getting cutting off passing lanes, misses yep. one there, gets back, gets back in position, and just an overall performance that provided a lot of energy and really limited Dortmund's attack going the other way. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's exactly the type of tactical approach that he likes in a game where the coach has you just hungry. You're closing down players. You're you're trying to block passes. You're trying to stop the opposition from getting past you. And I thought it was an excellent performance from him individually, but also from his team. He fits in perfectly when Schalke play like that. He really stands out, in my opinion. He stands out at one of the better performers. Of course, Caligiuri got a, a nice goal and an assist, so we give him credit. But at the same time, I think Schalke, they want to have Weston McKinney playing in that position more often than not because he can be influential. Given the dire situation that Schalke find themselves in, could you perhaps make the argument that this was the biggest win of his club career so far for Weston McKinney? Mm. I think when you contextualise it all and, and you consider the, the form that Schalke have been in this season, coming off the loss against Hoffenheim, all the pressure on them have, after having such a good season last year to now this being so poor, to really be a part of a performance where you go away from oh. home and, and, and stand up against a team that was second in the table and trying to push for the title, I, I think when you consider that... And the maturity of the performance as well from Weston McKinney, uh, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll give him that one. I, I just think he, he showed a maturity beyond his years in how he managed the game and how, it, and I think just being in the right position at the right times and having the, the ability to influence the game the way he did. Well, let's not forget this is a new position for Weston McKinney to find himself in. He's in a relegation battle and to be able to handle a derby game where all the teams underneath Schalke in the table won except for Nuremberg and put they made it even more tighter at the bottom of the table so they had to get something from that game. So the way they went in with that mentality, that attitude, Weston McKinney leading by example, certainly one of the biggest wins if not the biggest in his career. Let's just touch on Christian Pulisic because he came on for the final minutes of that game. Any hopes left for him uh, and Dortmund in the title race now? I actually, based on the way Bruce and Dortmund are playing at the moment, I cannot see a way in which Lucien Favre doesn't get Christian Pulisic more involved. He's had a couple games back now from injury. I think with his ability on the wing, it makes sense to say, look, we need to score goals. We need to get back to this this team that we were at the beginning of the season, which was playing forward, f free flowing, attacking stuff. You have nothing to lose now. And I think Pulisic will want to end his time at Dortmund on a high. He will be motivated. He looks a little bit sharper. He had a couple more minutes in the last game. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he he'll want to send uh, send off his send-off to be a positive note with the fans. I think the injury fell at a wrong time for Christian Pulisic. And I Which think one? it really hurt. <laughs> yeah, sure. But I think it, it really hurt Borussia Dortmund because Brun Larsson hasn't quite cut it for me. Wolf is not a winger. He's not even a fullback. He's not a Borussia Dortmund player as far as I'm concerned. They really miss Christian Pulisic. I think he could have been so influential had he stayed healthy throughout the whole course of the season. I think he could have really helped him pick up more points. So I'm disappointed that he picked up you know, a couple injuries this campaign, especially the most recent one, when it was an important stage in the season for Borussia Dortmund. And, but there's no doubt in my mind he's coming back into this team because he's a player who's a creator. He'll want to go out on a high. Now they're still in a title race. I mean, two points is two points you've got to fight on. That's what's exciting, actually, is that we're still in the position oh, that we yeah. do still have a title race. We're going to pick up that title race again next weekend on Saturday. Pulisic and Dortmund await Josh Sargent and Werder Bremen. That one is live on FS2. Earlier that day, Bayern Munich are going to host Hanover. And on Friday, Tyler Adams hopes to return from injury for Leipzig. On Sunday, Weston McKennie and Schalke host Augsburg. A win for the Royal Blues would virtually secure their top flight status next season. We will talk to you then. Until next time. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen, meine Freunde. Tschüss.